Back in Winston Green, Angie Barker also knows what an important part food plays in bringing the community together. They're setting up for their weekly cookery so class. We, uh, what are we doing? This looks exciting. This is a cooking social enterprise called Flavours of Winston Green. And it's a project that was started as a way to use the gifts and skills of people who have migrated from all over the world to Winston Green. And they basically teach cooking to white British people. And Davina is currently running Flavours of Winston Green. Yeah. And, and we've got marine cooking tonight. So oh, we're going to make some kebabs. Yeah. Maureen is an asylum seeker from Pakistan and is preparing everyone's ingredients for traditional pashori kebabs. Meanwhile, the students have arrived. For Davina, running this course has changed her life. She came from Mauritius to London and was then moved to Birmingham by the council. I came to live in Birmingham because I claim asylum because I was homeless. I was so lonely, I had no friends because I've been rehoused. On that street, there's no shop, there's nothing. It's in an industrial area. It's proper loneliness, isolation basically. And I was so lost. And then I met Angie, and then she goes, Oh, come, come to my house, come to my house. This is when it's all started. And then I never stopped coming. And where have you found that strength from? Through faith. And these past few months, I've been experiencing the work of God through faith, yeah. And all the spices? All the spices. All, all of them in there, yes. <laughs> Maureen has been here for a year, and because she's an asylum seeker, she's not allowed to work. All the time I was thinking that every day is passing, it's just wasting the time. And then I met Angie and she said, you can use your skills here, you can teach the people, you can do cook and eat with the people. Everyone benefit. Everyone is getting something from here. It strikes me that it's not just about the cooking. What else do you think is going on here? I think it's community, and community is not just one faith. Uh, it's a good opportunity for us to learn other faiths that we wouldn't normally know about, and uh, not to be naive, but also get to pray for them. With the cooking a success, it's time to eat together and find out more about each other. How many people can say that they've come and had a cooking class from someone who's been there and lived it and, and like this is their food that they cook and their culture and it's, you know, it's an invaluable experience. I think we can sometimes forget that these are people and it's people's stories and it's about um, individual lives and, and when we hear some of the stories they are heartbreaking and I think well what can I do as a person to help the situations that we have right here in Birmingham so hopefully it's helped me to be more compassionate and put some faith in action.
Next week, Josie Darby joins Christians on holiday at the Lee Abbey Retreat Center in Devon. And we hear from a couple inspired to share their faith with others while traveling on their canal boat. For our final hymn, we're back at St. Germain's Church here in Birmingham for a rousing hymn of praise. Until next time, God bless. an emotional return but the doctor is back and means business there's more doctor who tonight at five to seven and then at nine this evening more emotions and more drama as the story and search continue in the cry